to Instagram made me do it, which is this series of videos that I have where I get delivered these ads on Instagram for random sewing notions and I buy them because I just can't help myself. And I thought that I would do a true first impression of what the product is, unboxing, setting it up, using it, and telling you whether or not it's worth it. Um, in this edition, we are looking at the Laser Light, the three-in-one laser system. It comes in a box that looks like this, and it is a extra small versatile laser light over 10,000 hours of laser life, clear laser. And then there are some instructions. So the idea is that you would be able to set up this laser and it would like a leveler on your wall, you know, when you're trying to hang pictures or whatever, it would um, cast down a light onto your throat plate so that you can either stitch in a straight line or stitch equidistant. Like if you're quilting, you need to do one inch over accurately. You could do that with this laser light supposedly. Okay, so what do we get? Actually, I'm now I'm kind of nervous. Um, we get these things, which I assume help you like calibrate it. We get a little baggie of hardware. It looks like a couple springs and bolts maybe. Um, and then we get the actual system itself, which looks like this. <laughs> this looks like something I should not own or operate. Like it belongs in a doctor's office, maybe an OBGYN's office. Um, okay, so instructions. Choose where to place the three-in-one laser light and affix. Oh, there is Velcro on this side here. So you just peel back the Velcro and then the laser light, I think, is supposed to, like, come over your machine like this. And I'll show you whenever I get it set up. But I think you put this on top of your machine, and this comes down and over, I think. Are there photos or... Oh, yeah, there are photos. Look at this. Okay. Wait, those photos only describe the different lenses. So that's actually not going to be super helpful. But I can kind of see here that the laser is coming up and over the top of the machine. So that's what we're gonna go with. That's where I'm gonna put it. Um, select the desired lens and gently screw onto the three-in-one light. So are these the different lenses then? Um, no, they all look the same. Here's some more Velcro and that's all I got. So. Na, 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 na. Um, if you're going to fix the laser, choose where to place the laser, clean and dry the surface of any dirt or grime, then remove the protective backing sheet from the Velcro and firmly affix. The flexible wand can be bent and twisted as needed until the laser shines exactly where desired. Okay, then we have a dot lens, a line lens, and a crosshair lens. The dot is used to mark the point on your fabric where you want your needle. Uh, the line is perfect to make straight sewing line. It works as a visual seam and cutting guide and works with any seam allowance. And then the crosshair lens helps you locate the center on an embroidery quilt block, pocket, or other design detail. And then use the alignment stickers to accurately align your sewing. Great for hooped embroideries, great as a pivot point when sewing, that's true, and turning your fabric. 
works equally well with light and dark fabrics. Don't worry, you can sew right through the alignment stickers. When sewn through, the stickers are easy to tear away without harming your sewing. Okay, that is literally everything there is. Um, so I don't know about these lenses other than it's, th that it's these things. Um, these screws, they don't look, oh wait, they do look different. Can you see those lines in there? That does look a little bit different. And this one must be a dot because it just looks like a dot. And then, <laughs> real intuitive there, I know. Um, and then this one maybe must be the line or the crosshair one. I'm unscrewing it. So obviously I'm gonna have to keep all these things pretty close by and organized. This one must be the line. Um, so there is kind of different like systems in there. So that's good. Um, okay, and then choo choo choo, screwing this back on. All right, let's go over to my machine and I'll get this thing attached, plugged in, and then we'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Okay, so it was pretty easy to like, you know, get the Velcro on or whatever, but it is not stable, like at all. Um, and so I'm finding it hard to like get it set up. And then obviously the further away you go, the blurrier the line becomes, like it doesn't look nearly as crisp as it does on the box. The box makes it look like they're gonna be like, you know, super, super crisp lines. And that's not what I'm getting. And then I'm also sort of just struggling with like, how am I supposed to use this? Like I get it as like, okay, so for seam allowance, let's say I wanted one inch seam allowance. This is one inch from the raw edge. And so I would put my needle, but when you move the fabric, then it's not one inch from the, so now I'm just sort of like, well, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not feeling like I'm getting it, uh, user wise. Um, it's super hard to know whether it's straight, um, because it just twists and is so bendable, which I, I guess is nice to put it in the right place, but then what, you know? So let's say, okay, do I have it lined up with the needle now? I mean, maybe I, d I don't know where to go from. I don't know how to use it. I don't know like what practical sense I would have to um, to use this like in the ways that they are they are explaining like with the seam allowance like I'm not I'm not getting it and then when I went to put the dot on here let me do that and let me show you what it looked like okay so this is what it looks like with the dot on and as you can see that's not really a dot it's kind of like a oval um, and again in the instructions it's like use this to know where to turn um, in a corner which I thought okay that's a really good idea but first of all this doesn't even get up there and then you know what I mean like this is just I don't know I, I this is this is not good this is I'm not getting it at all I think in concept it made sense but now that I've got it like attached to my machine I'm more confused than ever. <laughs> I just don't know what to do and I don't know how to use it. So there's the T on the Honey Sew three in one laser light system, an absolute bust. Um, it does not look anything like this or like this. And I just am not figuring out how I'm supposed to use it in a way that is actually practical for my needs here. Like, Yes, does it shine a laser down onto my fabric? Yes. Then what? <laughs> if you guys are seeing something that I am not seeing, leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to keep playing around with it and keep trying it, but honestly, it seems like more trouble than it's worth. And I'd rather just use pens to mark, or markers to mark things and, um, yeah, call it a day with that. So I'm inclined to send this back. But like I said, if you can think of something that this would be good for, that I should try, let me know and I'll be happy to do it. But um, in the meantime, I have, like I said, a few of these videos that I've done this for. I'm gonna link them here in the end slate. I'll also have the most recent one in the uh, description box. So be sure to check that out. And then for whatever reason, if you'd like a link to this, I will include that as well. 
But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.